hey 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 hello to all of you my subscribers like us sharers and commenters <music> This is the Glade Garden Girl over here in Zonton, A, Florida. Guys, I am so happy to be alive today. I am giving God all the glory, the honor, and the praise. I feel so refreshed this morning. The sun is up, but it doesn't feel that hot. I am not sure what the temperature is right now. But I am not going to complain. Where there is life, there is hope. So in today's video, guys, I just want to do a quick check on some seeds that I sowed on September 9th. Today is actually September 16th. So that means it is. it has been seven days ago. Then I will be checking on my seedlings that was scratched out by the chickens to see how far along they are. And I also want to check on some cucumbers that I transplanted uh, maybe two weeks ago because I am actually thinking of transplanting my remainder, my remaining cucumber plants that I have. But before I do that, I have to find a very suitable area to plant them. Okay, so starting here, these are some colorful seeds sowed on September 9th as I said seven days ago so this is what the Kalalu, the mini Kalalus or Kalalu seedlings looks like after seven days over here I sowed some oregano seeds oregano here's the marker it is my very first time growing oregano I am not so sure if these bigger ones if they're actual oregano but I know that those little tiny seedlings, they're oregano because the seeds were so tiny I could hardly see them. In this back section, cilantro. I didn't read the back of the, the pack to see how long, how many days the cilantro would actually take to germinate, but I am not seeing anything over there yet. In this middle section, in this back section coming all around in the circle is some onions let me see if i can get a close-up shot of my onions all right so this is one of the onion seedlings and this is one of the seeds on top of it i have to be very gentle don't want to break it and then here are my swiss chard so i have two sets of swiss chard First set is here, and the other set is right here. In the middle section, to God be the glory, chives that I have been trying to grow for the past three years. Never, ever, ever had any success. So look guys, the chives, they actually look like the green onions. I am going to put this back over it. This is my little mini greenhouse. Yeah. Because we're still having some very, very, very hot times over here. All right, guys. So that is it for this section. And guys, the last time you saw these beans, you probably saw my blueberry bushes in them. I took them out because I wanted new areas to start my seeds so the blueberries are now in a different place and you will be seeing that shortly i couldn't help but noticing that one of my bean bush has died rest in peace so i will just pull it out and just put it at the base of my yellow orange that is in there these tomatoes not looking bad but I didn't mention them to be in, in today's video but since I am here guys you can have a look at them I will be pruning them throughout the course of the day as well I did mention my cucumbers 
I transplanted five of them in here and I only have two left. These were transplanted uh, very early morning, about uh, sometimes after seven. And I don't remember if I had taken any pictures when I transplanted them, but they were scourged and I only have two left out of five in there. In this one, I also have two left out of five, this one and this one. So here are my remaining cucumbers that I will be transplanting. I don't think I will be transplanting them this morning again. I will wait until this evening because I do not want them to suffer any transplant shock because it's going to be very hot today. I am assuming because it has been very hot over here in Zone 10, A, Florida. So I am actually considering putting some of the cucumbers um, in these two barrels here, guys. This one and this one. This is a pigeon pea. This one here, I only have a, a rosemary that I recently transplanted. I'm covering it because I don't want it to be burnt by the sun. I will be taking this out. I only put this here so I could have some water. I like to wash my hands whenever I pull the, the mallet minute from the fence. And I will also be putting some of my cucumbers in this one as well. And the reason why I want to put them in here is because I have this tomato cage. And I want the cucumbers to run on this like the beans to see how they would actually look i might eventually put some more cucumbers in this barrel as well because this um these barrels they are actually you know close to the fence and if needs be they can actually run on the fence guys i'm pretty sure they are going to be entwined with the mile a minute but i can easily identify my cucumbers so yes that is one of my plans for the day. So now let us take a look on our survivors over here. So as you can see guys, I did get um, some recommendations from my subscribers or just viewers that I should use the chicken wire on these baskets for protection. At that point, they were already on there, but thanks a lot, guys, for all your your recommendations, your ideas, and your suggestions. I will definitely be fixing these to make the baskets more um, easily accessible. So far, I do have some bok chow that is still growing down in there. Seems as if um, some of them has been eaten by some worms or something. Uh, these are the few beets that is struggling to make it over here let me see get this wire out of the way over here all right so maybe maybe it has been the lizards trying to eat the the bok chow and stuff looks like it so here i do have some more beets back here i have some beets and guys look at this Look at this. Let me fix my camera. Alright guys, so look at this. This is actually a piece of yam skin. I know it is yam. I know what yam looks like. I need to get this thing off. See why I have to get some better cages? But look guys. Alright, so. See? This is growing out of compost. And here is another little piece growing out of compost. Uh -huh. So when you know the food that you eat, whenever you see them growing out of compost, you will identify them. So back here, I only have two surviving kale. This is one. This is one. And the uh, others in the front here, they're cabbages. So what I am going to do today, I am going to sow some more kale seeds mm -hmm. and I will also be planting some more green onions in here 
I got some green onions at Walmart last week Sunday I haven't used them yet so I am going to show you guys how you can easily regrow green onions from store-bought onions all right oh yes and what I'm also going to try and do guys is to do a DIY project today so this was one of my pigeon pea plant you guys must have seen it in the past it has died yeah well I am not so sure about the the dead part because look down here guys there is still some green at the base I don't know if it will ever grow back well uh, the top section it is extremely dry I wonder if I cut it guys y'all think if I cut this part and leave it it will grow back but I want to use this as a trellis for some of my cucumbers too so I don't know what to do hmm I don't know all right I believe I am going to cut it I am going to cut the top off to see if it will actually regrow I don't know I'm just gonna try all right okay so I think I should start working now because this video is already too long and I haven't even been in my main garden as yet I think I saw some okras that I wanted to harvest oh gosh well you know this should be expected when you have a, a garden of this size oh gosh guys look at these these are giants <sighs> all right let me get these two I am going to get these two I already harvested the last two that was here and I have them inside saving them for the seeds and here is another okra is it okra or okra hmm I think they are called different names based on where we are living but from in Jamaica we normally say okra maybe because we talk bad <laughs> our native language is like a a dialect a creole oh gosh why is it so hard oh god i uprooted my okra plant guys i cannot believe i just did that see i have my scissors here all i had to do was just to take out my scissors and cut the the okra hmm. all right so i guess I just have to try and fix this one. Oh Lord, have mercy. Oh gosh. All right, see I'm even putting the gloves on the wrong hand. Did it come all the way out? Oh Lord, yes it did guys, it did. Here it is, it came out, roots and all. I'm going to put it back. I might have to relocate that one. All right, so moving on to something else. All right, guys, so I dug the hole. And here is the okra plant now. I'm just watering it. I pray that it will survive. A few hours later. So guys, I just saw the lightning flashing over there, thunder rolling. It seems like we are about to get some rain. It is very, very overcast. Y'all hear that? So right now, guys, I want to take this opportunity to transplant some of my cucumbers that I have right here. I think the soil mm, might needs to be softened a little bit before I thug them out. All right. All right, guys, so I'm gonna try and do this as quickly as possible because I can actually feel drops of rain 
Coming down. All right. I'm getting about three of the biggest plants and I'm putting them in some water just in case the rain comes and I don't get to plant them. They will be safe and sound in that water right there. Trying to get another good one. All right, so here we are. We have three. So now I'm heading over to where I want to transplant these. And that is going to be right here. Dig in my three holes. One, two, and that's three. And I'm just popping them right in. That's one. This is two. And this is three. One thing I normally and always try to do, even if it is going to rain, guys, is always water my transplants. Because a lot of times, when the weather is like this, I assume it's going to rain and it never rains. So, there I go. Transplanted three cucumbers. I will try to transplant some more. So here they are, guys. All right, all right, all right. So as I was about to transplant the other three cucumbers, I made a quick observation and I remembered I wanted to plant some more beans. So I actually took the this cage from the back of the barrel, put it in the middle, and then I added these three bamboo stakes um, joining them to make a teepee and I transplanted three cucumbers at the base of each one and I will also be adding some beans in the in a triangular shape inside of these the um, the cages so here I still have these three cucumbers but I will be taking them out in a few minutes to adjust them to be like this one guys so that is it for today guys I have successfully transplanted some of my cucumbers and we will all be seeing them grow as the days and the weeks and the months goes by until it is time for them to be harvested